All right, y'all, it's Dr. Paul. I'm gonna wrap up this video series on the uh, Clean and Press on Journey into Mystery, annual number one from 1965, first appearance of Zeus and Hercules. Um, so I'm just gonna do a sort of overview of what we did and sort of final results. So um, <clears throat> we dry cleaned the book. That's essentially the first thing you do we did cotton round we had a couple of accretions on the surface we removed those um we had to use a little bit of water on a cotton round and one of them came right up then we let that spot dry before dry cleaning it but we dry cleaned both sides of the book once we were done with dry cleaning we did a wet clean which consisted of a overlay press and that helped us unify or make the whites more uniform rather um, and clean this up. It also gives the paper a nice sheen and as part of that of course we pressed it so it gave the the surface a very nice smooth um, clean look. We did that both sides front and back. We did lose a little bit of paper along these edges where it was brittle, but I think that was an acceptable trade-off. There was already, it was already a jagged edge. There was already some paper missing from those spots. Um, so I don't think that affected the grade dramatically. I think the eye appeal is much better. <clears throat> and then lastly, we used methyl cellulose to just uh, secure this bit of the cover to the spine and as I mentioned before, I think that turned out really well. As I mentioned before, the methyl cellulose would be similar to the glue was used in the manufacture. Um, it is water soluble. You can undo that job if you like. Um, it's essentially undetectable in terms of uh, restoration or anything like that. So um, officially the book, I would consider it conserved because we did that, um, but I think it presents much better. I think we're essentially done with it. Um, it is ready to either be sold uh, to somebody who doesn't have a copy of this book, because as you know, I have, I have a copy of this U.S. Um, variant, and I also have the Canadian variant and the U.K. variant. Um, I was in on this book early, and um, I'm a big fan of this book. So. <clears throat> we will either sub it to CGC or we'll move it on to another uh, collector. So um, before we put it into Mylar, we want to use sheets of these. This is called interleaving paper. So the purpose of this, if you've ever cracked a CGC book before, you know that these are in CGC books. That is a piece of paper that's impregnated with a basic buffer and it will continue to deacidify the pages and it will actually reverse any, um, not any, but it will actually slow and even reverse yellowing, especially on the inside of the cover. So we're gonna put a sheet there and we're gonna put a sheet of interleaving paper here, just like CGC would. And this is just best practice. This in interleaving paper, it's not, uh, it's not expensive. You can do this with your own collection, and you should do this with your own collection, all right? And then, of course, we'll store the book in um, Mylar. This is a Gerber fullback, so this is a very thick, about double the thickness of a normal um, backing board. So this really gives a lot of rigidity to the book bag combo. And this is a two mil Mylar, um, also from Gerber. I buy all my archival storage materials from eGerber, um, always have. And so this book I think is gonna present especially well in Mylar. I think Mylar makes most books look um, a little better uh, certainly better than a polypropylene bag, but I think in some cases the books actually uh, present better in mylar than they do raw. 
So this book is now ready for long-term storage, or as I said, submission to CGC, um, sale to another customer, uh, collector, put it in there. Um, PC and, and, you know, use the funds generated to get something that we don't have already or that we uh, are, are want more in our collection. So this will wrap up my video series on the Clean and Press. This was a relatively straightforward book, but it's a cool book and one that's relevant now. And it's a key that's kind of hot right now because of Thor Love and Thunder. So I thought I'd just share uh, my work on it with you. I hope you enjoyed the series. And um, I hope you are out there enjoying the hunt. And please take care of one another. See you soon.